Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today as I show you how to achieve a simple yet glamorous look that I did on Rush for Her Miss World intro video. For the eyebrows, I only filled in a little bit and cleaned up using Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. I then used a dark brown face powder to outline the outer area of the eyelid. It's a face powder but you can use it guys, you can use it too. <laughs> and then blended it in really well. Use a really light hand to do this. I then took these two beautiful colors from the Naked 2 palette that have some copper and gold tint to them. They're called Half Baked and Chopper if you have the palette. And mix them together and apply them to the inner eye area while blending it towards the middle eye area. To make the colors pop even more, I added a little bit of the Lorac Tantalizer back to bronzer which is also more of a goldish color and added it towards the inner eye area while blending it towards the middle area of the eye and then blended everything in together, not forgetting to highlight the brow bone. For this look, I did a really simple liner for the eye and applied mascara to her lashes, her natural lashes, because that is also what she wanted. She didn't want to wear faulty, so we went with her natural lashes, which were long and really beautiful. On to her face. <laughs> Let's start with priming her skin. So I'm using the Kraland HD primer which is one of my favorite primers just before I put on the foundation. The foundation that I'm using on her is MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC45 which is her shade and I'm using the same brush that I used to apply the primer to apply the foundation and just blending the product into her skin and all over her face. that was a few shades lighter than her skin tone to highlight under her eyes you can use a concealer you can use a foundation as long as you blend it also really well Don't forget to set your under eye concealer or foundation because if you wait too long, it will crease on you guys, it will crease on you and you do not want to see that. So after applying your foundation or concealer, set it before you go to the other eye. <laughs> I then did a slight contour for her cheek because we wanted to bring out the cheekbones <laughs> and then blended everything in well because again you want to blend you want to blend this thing because you don't want to see harsh lines you don't want to see some dark colors somewhere just popping out like that mm -mm. you don't want to see that then after doing that I went ahead and set her face using a translucent powder and well the thing about doing this is that it also helps to bring out the contour out really really well well after setting the whole face i just brushed everything off the under eye uh, powder that we had going on over there baking and then applied a little bit of mascara to her lower lashes set the contour with a darker face powder just to again make it make the cheekbones pop a little 
or bring them out a little. <laughs> I then applied blush and I used the Sleek Chio Blush Palette. I really love this product, it's really amazing. After that, I used the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer for the highlights. Such a versatile product, really love it. And the highlight was great, I loved it. Uh -huh. So next is the lips. I used the Colourpop Matte Lipids and this is Limbo and Chi mixed together. Unfortunately, my battery died after this, so I didn't manage to get uh, the pictures or after pictures of this look. But I managed to get a short clip showing you guys what happened behind the scenes. So at least you get to see how she looked while filming. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. And until next tutorial, peace, love, and makeup. Hello and welcome. My name is Roshanari Ibrahim, and I represent the cradle of mankind, the hotbed of talent.